Steelers Nation with the Steelers vs. Seahawks showdown on the horizon, the gridiron drama is hitting us like a ton of bricks. Urgency is in the air as we unravel the latest bombshells shaping the Steelers' fate. Smash that like button, subscribe for your Steelers' fix, and brace yourselves for the whirlwind ahead. Now let's shift our focus to the extraordinary exploits of a certain running back who's turning heads and shaking the league. Pittsburgh Steelers running back Jalen Warren has been making waves in the NFL with his exceptional skills, both as a runner and a blocker. Despite going undrafted, Warren has surpassed expectations, often outshining higher drafted players. His powerful blocks on defenders have not gone unnoticed, earning him hefty fines from the league. As the Steelers navigated quarterback changes and offensive struggles, head coach Mike Tomlin implemented a running back by committee strategy, utilizing both Warren and Najee Harris. One standout skill of Warren is his remarkable blocking ability. However, this skill has come at a cost, with the league imposing significant fines on him, affecting his earnings as a second-year player on a minimum contract. The fines, including a substantial $48,556 penalty for a block against the Los Angeles Rams, drew attention from influential figures like J.J. Watt. The surprising aspect is that Warren, an offensive player with a lower salary, faced fines comparable to Watt, a highly paid defensive edge rusher. In Week 16 against the Cincinnati Bengals, Warren delivered a crucial block that helped teammate Calvin Austin III score a touchdown. Rather than facing another fine, Warren received the NFL's Way to Play Award for the week. The recognition comes with a $5,000 grant that Warren can donate to a youth or high school football program of his choice. Devin McCourty, host of NFL Network's Good Morning Football and former NFL Safety, praised Warren's technique, emphasizing the proper execution of the block. While the league aims to prioritize player safety, the inconsistency in fine calls has sparked frustration, voiced by players like Watt. Despite the fines, Warren remains steadfast in his playing style, understanding the league's commitment to safety. Coach Tomlin is likely to continue leveraging the distinct running abilities of both Warren and Harris with Warren's blocking prowess playing a key role in securing touchdowns for the Steelers. But before we unravel that saga, let's pivot to a pivotal moment in our quarterback's journey, where questions linger about his role and the future of the black and gold. Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Kenny Pickett is on the mend after ankle surgery and seems to be making strides in his recovery. Although Pickett is expected to travel to Seattle for the Steelers game against the Seahawks on Sunday, his official status remains questionable, according to Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk. However, Florio notes that even if Pickett is fit to play, he will serve as Mason Rudolph's backup. Does this suggest that Pickett has been benched? It's certainly a possibility. Pickett has faced challenges in his sophomore season, starting 12 games and passing for 2,070 yards, six touchdowns, and four interceptions. His completion rate stands at 62%, with a passer rating of 81.4. He has been sidelined since week 14. The 25-year-old who played college football at the University of Pittsburgh was selected by the Steelers with the 20th overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. During his rookie campaign, he started 12 games, concluding with 2,404 yards, seven touchdowns, and nine interceptions. His completion rate was 63%, with a passer rating of 76.7. Analyzing the stats, it's apparent that Kenny Pickett hasn't shown significant progress in his second season. Speculation is rising that Pittsburgh might part ways with him after the current season. The Steelers' apparent comfort in relying on Rudolph for a crucial game suggests the team may be contemplating a different direction in 2024. With an 8-7 record, Pittsburgh is battling for a playoff spot in Week 17, currently holding the ninth position in the AFC playoff standings. After facing the Seahawks this weekend, they will confront the Baltimore Ravens to conclude the regular season on January 7th. It's worth noting that the Steelers haven't finished below .500 since 2003. And there you have it, the Steelers playbook decoded for you. If you're vibing with the updates, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more gridiron drama. Until next time, this is your Steelers insider signing off.